let x equals to root 13 plus root 11 divided by root 13 minus root 11 and y is equal to 1 by x. So first of all, like I've mentioned, let us rationalize uh, uh, this term here and get it in the simple form. So we'll multiply both numerator and denominator by root 13 plus root 11. Okay, so we're basically not changing anything here, right? Multiply and divide both by the same value. So what do we get in the denominator? Root 13 plus root 11 whole squared. What about denominator? a plus b into a minus b. You see the denominator is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. So the answer should be a squared minus b squared. So which is like root 13 squared is 13, root 11 squared is 11. So a squared minus b squared, 13 minus 11. Simplify this now. So a plus b whole square in the numerator, 13 plus 11 plus 2 root 13 into 11. So 13 into 11 comes out to be 143 divided by 13 minus 11 is 2. So overall what do we get? Numerator is 24 plus 2 root 143 denominator is 2. So upon simplification this comes out to be 12 plus root 143. This is the value of x, 12 plus root 143. Now if x equals to 12 plus root 143, we know that y is equal to 1 by x. So again, when you, I mean, if you go through the video of algebra, you would know that, I mean, algebra and search analysis, you would know that y comes out to be 12 minus root 143. Again, rationalization, right? 1 by x will be 1 by 12 plus root 143. Again, multiply both numerator and denominator by 12 uh, minus root 143 by 12 minus, I mean, multiply and divide both by 12 minus root 143. Or let me do that, in fact, if you're, I mean, you should be directly writing the value, but let me explain you the process behind it. So this comes out to be 1 by 12 plus root 143. We'll multiply both numerator and denominator by 12 minus root 143. So what happens? 1 into 12 minus root 143 is 12 minus root 143. Divided by this a plus b into a minus b again. a square minus b square. So 12 square 144, b square 143 comes out to be 1. So y is equal to 12 minus root 143. Now substitute both these values in the given expression. Right? So 3x squared minus 5xy plus 3y squared. I mean, that one step you need to calculate, right, and get the answer. So, 3 into, I am directly writing what is x square. x square will be 144 plus, see, you would know that actually in this uh, x square and y square, that 2ab term will get cancelled. See, a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square. So, what happens? Plus 2ab and minus 2ab gets cancelled. So, if you are smart enough, you can avoid writing that 2ab term in both the places. Right? Anyway, let me just do it fully and then show you how to cut it down. So 144, 3 into a plus b whole square, right? So a square plus 2ab. So 2ab will be how much? 2 into 12, 24 root 143 plus b square is 143 minus 5xy. So 5 into x into y. So 12 plus 143 root 143 into 12 minus root 143. How much will that be? a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square. So 5 into 144 minus 143 plus 3 into y squared. y squared will be how much? 144 minus 24 root 143 plus 143. Right? So if you observe 3 into 24 root 143 and minus 3 into 24 root 143 will get cancelled. This 144 minus 143 is anyway 1. So final answer will be 144 plus 143 is 287. So 3 into 287 minus 5 into 1 plus 3 into 287. So basically 6 into 287. So 1200 plus 480, 1680 plus uh, 42, 17, 22. 17, 22 minus 5 is 17, 17. 1717, which is option 1. X squared plus Y squared plus z squared equals to xy plus yz plus zx. He's asking us to find out the value of 3x power 4 plus 5, sorry, 3x power 4 plus 7y power 4 plus 5z power 4 divided by 5x square y square plus 
सेवन वाई स्क्वायर जेड स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री जेड स्क्वायर एक्स स्क्वायर दिस इज इक्वल टू वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन हेयर That's very easy. Look at this equation. What do you think can be the values of x, y, z? Just go by substitution. See, you don't have to depend on the conventional formulae or try to do some expansion using this equation to get the answer. Right? That would only make your uh, life complex. So it's all symmetric things, right? X square, y square, z square. Here we have x, y, y, z, z, x. So can we say uh, x equal to y equal to z equals to one? Yes or no? One square is one. One square one. One square one. So left hand side is three. One into one, one. One into one, one. One into one, one. Right hand side is also three. Satisfied or not? Right. So can we say x equals to y equals to z equals to one? Yes. Done. So all x, y, z are equal to one. That satisfies this given equation, right? X square plus y square plus z square equals to x y plus y z plus z x. Right. In fact, two also would satisfy. Two, two will also satisfy. X equals to y equals to z. Equals to two. I mean, there are you know infinite values basically. Three also satisfies because when you say x equals to y equals to z, then x square plus y square plus z square will become equal to x y plus y z plus z x. Because see, x is equal to y equals to z. So wherever we have y, we can replace with x. Wherever we have z, we can replace with x. So x square, x square, x square, three x square. Here x into x x square, x into x x square, x into x x square, three x square. So the whole idea is to take x equals to y equals to z from this. Now if x is equal to y equals to z, what happens? This x power four, y power four, z power four, and this denominators x square, y square, y square, z square, z square, etc. will get cancelled because we can take x power four common outside in both numerator and denominator. What are we left with? Three plus seven plus five, fifteen. In the denominator, five plus seven plus three, fifteen. Fifteen by fifteen is equal to one. So option four is your answer.